Yo, uh, it's M, and uh, I've got another Temple Tip thing to talk about today. Uh, today's video is going to be a response to a question I was asked. It's going to be the first Temple Tip question response video. So let's get to that. Uh, Chibi Sora Chibi L? Chibi Sora Chibil? Chibil? Chibil asks, Out of curiosity, for the first year, how do you pay for the dorm? And what does the dorm look like? Well, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, your first semester dorm costs are covered in your total tuition. As I said in uh, the Temple Tip video about school costs, uh, your first semester is a very expensive semester, and dorm fees are one of the reasons it's so expensive, because you're paying several months' worth of uh, rent up front, and to be honest, uh, the rent that you pay to stay in the dorms is quite a bit higher than what you would pay to live on your own in an apartment. And Temple University Japan does require first-time students um, to live in the dorms for the first semester, and that includes transfer students, and it definitely includes study abroad students. So you're probably going to be paying a total on average of, um, well, in dollar amounts would work out to maybe a thousand dollars a month, roughly, um, in rent. Um, so one of the very first things you want to know about the dorms at Temple University Japan is that they are rented by the school. Um, the school does not own the buildings that uh, are used to house its students. Um, this is not uncommon in Tokyo, um, especially for uh, those schools that <clears throat> uh, don't have a, a large campus because you know they have not been here forever and now property is you know, some of the most expensive property in the world. Um, let's talk about them. Uh, Hiyoshi Men's Dorm, as I said, uh, is a large building on the Tokyu Line, and uh, it uh, takes you directly to Shirokane Takanawa Station, uh, which is very, very close to campus. Um, it's got a lot of uh, great facilities, like, um, like, stuff. It's got a weight room because men like to work out, and it's got uh, <clears throat> uh, showers, because men need to shower after they work out. Kitazono dorm is the women's dorm. Uh, it is also a very large building housing many, many students from many different universities um, in Tokyo. Uh, I think something like 600 students total can live there. Um, it's got slightly better uh, bedroom facilities than the men's dorm, uh, and the building is rather well kept from what I understand. Um, your bedroom at Kitazono, if that's where you're staying, uh, will have a small kitchenette, as well as its own bathroom, um, with a shower. Showers are important. Um, it also has a cafeteria where you can buy food, and it's got tennis courts because, you know, young Victorian ladies attending their first year at a co-ed university need to know how to play tennis. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> it also has, unlike the men's dorm, a curfew. Now this curfew is completely out of control, uh, or out of the control, it's not out of control, I mean. The girls are a little out of, they're not out of control. No, nothing is out of control at Kitazono Women's Dorm. Buildings are rented by Temple, and the people who manage the building have instilled a curfew. I think it's something like uh, 10 p.m. or 11 p.m., uh, and that's kind of regardless of your age, you know? Uh, but yeah, curfew. Because, you know, you can't have those young, college-educated women going out and ruining their lives by God knows what, you know, getting pregnant or something instead of playing tennis. 
Hey, uh, I just found out that there's another um, vlogger at Temple University Japan. Um, her screen name is Vixki89. Yeah, Vixki89, and uh, she posted a video seven months ago about her stay in the um, in the female dorm at Temple University Japan, and it's actually very informative. And I can't believe I just used the word female. Anyway. Um, so yeah, go and check out that video and uh, subscribe to her if you want to know more about uh, being a, a lady student at Temple University Japan. And um, I mean, I'm also a lady student, but you know, uh, she's she's much more of a lady than I am. She's very pretty. Uh, I do not have uh, personal photographs of the dorms, but if you would like some more information as well as an email address to contact about each dorm, I will include a link doing that weird YouTube point at the thin air thing because now, you know, I'm going to put the little box and it's going to be awesome uh, and you can click on it and technology. Um, to Temple University Japan's page about the dorms, you can find some photographs there uh, as well as the contact information for the uh, Office of Student Services people who uh, have answers to all of your questions. Um, so that should do it, yeah. Yeah, thanks for asking your question. This was a long rambly answer. Anyway, good luck on applying to Temple University Japan, and uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Hey, do you want to know more about Temple University Japan or just living in Japan in general? Ask me some questions. Feel free to ask any question you like in the comments section or on my Twitter or on the Facebook page I made specifically for this channel. Look at that. So many boxes that I just like summoned from thin air. I didn't, I didn't, sum, I didn't summon them. Anyway, feel free to ask whatever you want. I am full of answers. Absolutely full of answers. <laughs> so full of answers.